Welcome back. It is 547. Time now for weather and traffic together with meteorologist Shay Sorensen with the three things you need to know this morning on this Friday, Shay. Good morning. Uh, yeah, well, it's a pretty calm start compared to yesterday, but we are waking up to some patchy, dense fog, especially to the north and east of Tucson, thanks to the recent rain and the clear sky that we're waking up to this morning. So I'll show you that in just a second, but definitely give yourself some extra time no matter where you're waking up this morning because we do have some wet roadways and, of course, that fog. But once that clears, it's going to be a sunny and seasonable afternoon with high temperatures warming into the mid-60s for the warmest places. That's average for this time of year. And then we have a pretty nice warm-up this weekend, getting into the low 70s for the warmest places. So a lot to look forward to. Looking at your satellite and radar, most of us are on the clear side, just a couple of clouds in some spots, but because of the recent rain and the uh, clear sky, we do have a dense fog advisory in effect until 9 a.m. this morning, mainly in eastern Pinal County, lower elevations in Grandma and Greenlee County, as well as Cochise County. So this impacts places like Oracle, Safford, Bisbee, Douglas, and potentially parts of Sierra Vista as well. Looking at your current visibility, we are down to zero miles in Safford. So pretty severe there. Very, very dense fog. Remember, just give yourself some distance between you and the car in front of you. Don't use your brights. That actually scatters the light more, making it harder to see. So just use your normal lights and you'll be good to go. Uh, we're down to eight miles in Sierra Vista, but notice those dark uh, gray spots. That's the dense fog. So just be sure to keep that in mind as you head out the door. Looking at your high temps today, it's going to be a nice one. Mid to upper 60s for the highs all across Metro Tucson with overnight lows dropping into the 30s and 40s. So it'll be another cold start for your Saturday morning, but tons of sunshine. A light wind can be expected this afternoon. Areas of the south and east warming up into the low to mid 60s with overnight lows potentially dropping into the upper 20s in some spots for places like Wilcox and the high elevations. So colder to the south and east, which is typical. Uh, west uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour for the wind. Some fog in the morning turning sunny by late morning and into the afternoon. So a beautiful day to look forward to going to be pretty mild today, but as we head into the weekend, a ridge is going to build in, so that means warmer temperatures getting into the low 70s for the warmest places and areas of the south and east, warming up into the mid to upper 60s, so a great looking weekend up ahead with a few clouds possible here and there, but tons of sunshine can be expected too. And as we head into early next week, we're going to stay pretty above average in the low 70s, but by Tuesday into Wednesday, temperatures will drop into the 60s as a couple of systems pass by, mainly just clouding us up, but we do have a 10% chance for some rain on Tuesday, potentially seeing some high elevation snow as well. But right now, impacts look very minimal and we only have a very slight chance to see that rain and snow. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Low 70s starting tomorrow through uh, Tuesday, and then we drop down to the 60s as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday. Overall, a pretty calm next seven days with overnight lows in the 40s. That is a check of weather.